This means so we, we take uh, this from mic, uh, microbiology or so, somewhere lab. This means uh, this is pure iso isolated. For, for what proposed uh, it is rooted? Some of them we don't preserve it, we don't need to have a constant This means so maybe for multiplexing, yeah? Ma uh, multiplexing? Mm, this is more to have an homogeneous distribution of nutrients oh, and algae. Nutrient. Okay. Nutrient. It depends on the algae. Some of them are more or less sensitive mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes they sediment like uh, this one but yes, yes, yes. it's still uh, when you put it back in suspension you see it's uh, it's okay so uh, don't we have to rotate this one uh, no not necessarily yeah actually just to preserve them it's not to study or monitor it's just to have a binocular when we want to use different uh, pigments uh, so those are chlorophylls those okay. are more carotenoids it's another other one uh, you have uh, this yeah this guy uh, you have, uh, this is uh, Emiliania, I yeah. told you about. Media? Emiliania Huxley. So, uh, the PhD student who is uh, working on it. Uh, yeah, so say the bacteria. Depends on the subject. Okay. We have uh, this kind of uh, incubator. Yeah, style. incubator. So, you have uh, LED lights. You can do cycles, like a daylight cycle. Yeah. We have to adjust. Adjust. We have to uh, adjust the temperature uh, yeah. and timer. Yeah, and this is a custom made uh, here. Right now. Yeah, for you bacteria, can set the intensity. Also. Yeah. For bacteria, we use a huge difference, 37 to 22. Yeah, it's, you know this. Yeah, this is laminar air flow. Yeah. We have uh, for culture. One also here. This is also laminar air flow. Yeah. Smaller. Yeah, smaller. smaller. Yeah, but same Working. Idea. Nipa uh, yeah, be careful Deposit. don't put this on the ground <laughs> because of that it's contaminated. Uh, we have uh, some little microscopes who um, want to... Uh, this is compound? Compound, microscope? Yeah, just an optic microscope with a camera. Electric? Um, oh, okay. And uh, we use it, um, I think you know this one? Which one? Um, Slides. Yeah. yeah. Glass light. Yes. Maybe you've been using those before? Yes. Oh, okay. Count, count, count. for example. Hmm? Like that ones that uh, we want to... Uh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, bonjour. Bonjour. Smell. Different smell. Like for... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> media smell. Uh, cell sample here. Mm -hmm. Cell so sample? Yeah, cell, the, your culture. Yeah, 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 cell sample, yeah. yeah. Then? And then it goes into a microfluidic circuit mm -hmm. and uh, it goes in front of the lasers, detectors, and actually you can uh, count.
accounts automatically your ID with oh. the right settings. Yeah. Like the OD value? Um, it counts, it depends on how you first uh, set it. Take uh, to count uh, such kinds of particles, um, like uh, from cell sample. Not uh, just time to start it up and uh, to do it. The more, most difficult is actually to to set up your analysis, to yeah. know how to parameterize it, but it's very fast, in two minutes you two have minutes? your... Yeah. I mean to say, if, if we have uh, like uh, some cells sample, then we, we can... Uh, <laughs> perhaps another time, you have to sort the cells, yeah. so given what was analyzed, you can go into four different directions mm -hmm. and then the flow photometer if you want to see the general um, inverted fluorescence microscope. Fluorescence? Yeah. Very big. Mm -hmm. So you have a camera and uh, you see the imaging, so it goes uh, three dimensions. So we have light uh, fluorescence microscope. And what is that? For that, uh, we, we can use the same kinds of slide or different slide will be used here? You can use the same kind of slide as well. Like uh, uh, which I use in a uh, compound microscope? But it has to be fluorescent spectrum. Like uh, light? Yeah. Fluorescent spectrum. Yeah, there is a laser that will uh, excite your cells and oh. you get uh, fluorescent from the chlorophyll. Oh. There is a difference because in this microscope you have to do something which is... It's a mm -hmm. More advanced than this is electron microscope? Um, no, 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 different. That's so that different. different. Yes. That microscope or something? Which one? This one? Inverted? This means all the, they, they have same protocol of uh, operating? No, it's a different one. Uh, how, how, one. how to uh, job or how to see uh, from this? Um, like, uh, uh, we, we, maybe we can place a slide here? Yeah, and uh, the lights come from the, the bottom. Yeah. And you have the camera on top. And yeah. Usually, to this one, it's like it's specialized equipment. We have a research engineer yeah. who works on those and who trains the people who will come and uh, work on those. It's not, uh, yeah. not immediate. Okay. It's a nice, uh, nice equipment. This one doesn't look like much, yeah. but it's a um, microplate reader. Mi microplate? Yes. Um, I don't have one. Uh, it's a uh, squared and this is automatized on the critical density. You have to put a slide on this and it will give us reading. No, Something I, I, I show you uh, downstairs we have a uh, microplate. I will show you what it is and uh, you can use it to do a um, lot of analysis in parallel. Uh, I will show you. It's uh, easier to show than to put faces. Um, This one. It's for uh, to, to the fluid uh, to that circulates into the, the equipment, mm -hmm. and uh, to you have your sample that is like inside the tube, and this fluid makes the tube uh, to coat it and to make it move in. Uh, so it's a chest fluid. Must be multiplication like on our normal microscope. Uh, this one, but it's to analyze uh, the particles, the, the particle size and the oh. density, yeah. the particle population. And this one? And this one? I think uh, this is quite big. I think it's about, uh, I don't know this one actually. Uh, it's about 10 studies. Rheometric? Uh, yes. I 
Yeah, in the lab we have. Uh, you asked uh, how do we move from uh, there, what do we do next? We, some of people do here. This one? Yeah, so this is an airlift photobioreactor. This is used to grow uh, different types of uh, algae. So in this one, there is a diatom for the catoceros. Um, so in the airlift, you can see we have uh, gas coming from the bottom. That's CO2? Oh, sorry, that's O2. Uh, CO2. Uh, depends. Uh, it's a mixture here, I think, of uh, air plus CO2. And it uh, creates a movement, I don't know. Uh, you have a pH probe yeah. to monitor the pH. I uh, want to see uh, like, uh, how much is pH like, uh, right now. Uh, you have a, a computer mm. to, uh, yeah. And, uh, oh, to okay. acquire the data. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's uh, connected to uh, this yeah. one. Uh, it's a uh, centralized uh, here, in somewhere uh, here. Yeah, so and it's under the, the computers are under yeah. the, the bench. This means uh, the, this one for? Uh, this one, it's a pump. Um, this is showing here. This is a medium, I think. This one, madam? This. Yeah, this is a peristaltic pump. Yeah. So oh. it activates, uh, you can see it turns very slowly. So it uh, injects a new medium very, very slowly in it. Okay. The medium culture is injecting a bit yeah. this, by that. Like. This is run continuously. So you have... Um, media for trans the transport. Media, media. Yeah, media. Uh, yeah. Reduction rate. But then you will need to have your class on photobioreactors to... Uh, okay. And you will have... Uh, a lot more understanding on this, but it's a way to operate the photobioreactor. Either a batch, semi continuous, or continuous. Yeah, so yeah. This one is continuous. And this one is continuous. Mm -hmm. The out, you can operate all three modes, but now I know it's uh, continuous. And um, the out. Uh, this is the out. And it goes from uh, here, so it goes in this, mm, okay. into the harvest. Harvest? Yeah. And this is the exit for the, the gas. This, is, uh, this one and the next one? This one is another species in the same project. Mm -hmm. This one is called the uh, Pavlova. Uh, it's another species of uh, algae. Yeah, and well, it's a brown? Uh, this is, yeah, this one is a uh, diatom, mm -hmm. a bit brown. Yeah, so diatom brown, species. and this one is a mic microalgae? Production of uh, of the medium of uh, the, the operating condition of the algae of uh, those species plus two others in uh, this uh, type of reactor. Yeah. Then to scale okay. it up to bigger things. Yes. Is there any specific reason that this one is more e e air bubble, light? Yeah, bubble. Or this one is more dense. Actually, the close to the light there should be more growth. Uh, I That's think reverse, I think. wait for Jeremy's class. Uh, he will explain to you, I think, uh, the kind of experiments we do here. Okay. The idea is to uh, work, at, uh, to find the model mm -hmm. between the concentration of the algae mm -hmm. uh, and the productivity mm -hmm. for different photon flux density. Oh. We actually predict uh, the productivities and we are doing uh, a model uh, of the growth of uh, those species. So then we have which are uh, thinner um, and uh, to maximize the reception of the light, you will see that a lot of photobioreactors are not very uh, yeah, they are thin. Uh, they are not very thick. Yep. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, one easy reactor uh, to do this kind of uh, analysis. This is a custom 
built by the lab. Yeah. For what purpose? Uh, to do screening. Screening. In the photobioreactor setting. Um, so a bit um, uh, more close to the photobioreactor operation than the uh, plant. So more or less it is the lab and uh, we have a process uh, yeah. um, instrument uh, engineer who do those hot dots of the programming and uh, all those uh, settings. This one, I think. Yeah. Which one? Yeah, so you have the torus shaped uh, photobioreactor. Can you see? Torus shaped. Uh, torus. T O R U S. Yeah, I'm uh, 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 studying uh, PhD defense. Uh, hmm? uh, yeah, sure. defense we, we heard. No problem, no problem. Yeah? To, torus shaped. Yeah, torus shaped. Uh, this is because of the, the shape, which is a tor, like a circle. Um, oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, you have uh, the agitation is uh, mechanical. It's yeah. caused by the helix here, yeah. and you also have a gas addition. So please move on. Those things uh, happening will be observed by this one? Yeah, it, oh. goes, uh, it goes in to have uh, props. The circuit here, it's a gas line. Dryer? Is yeah. this dryer? Or yeah, it's uh, an oven, 100 oven. Uh, degrees oven. So we let it uh, overnight to dry, then we wait it again on the carbohydrates content. With the carbohydrate? Yeah. Perhaps you know the Dubois method. It's a colorimetric method. Colorimetric.
What is this, madam? Uh, total organic carbon analyzer. Oh, to TOC, yeah. yeah. Organic carbon analyzer. Organic carbon uh, analyzer. Both so Bo are centrifuges? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big ones and uh, small ones. Mm -hmm. uh, Fatty seeds, yeah. Yes. Um, we can uh, analyze the sugar. Uh, I'm not an expert in this, so I will just uh, leave you at this, and uh, you can ask uh, Olivier Gonzalez all of the things. There is also um, NMA to do um, chemometric analysis uh, to analyze the lipid, the, the patterns during the culture. Yeah. So again, not, uh, not an expert, we, we have this kind of... Uh, this, this machine will uh, perform? NMR. Se yeah. Separating? Uh, no, it's, um, it's uh, magnetic. So. This one for what purpose? <laughs> <laughs> this one? <Yeah. laughs> this so different types. Which, which? So ion chromatography. Ion chromatography, yeah. yeah. So the algae, they grow on the nitrate, phosphates, they use other type of elements. So we can analyze them with uh, this one. It's a liquid chromatography coupled to a mass, mass what, spectrometer. What's the name? What's, what is the name? LCMS. Uh, LCMS. What does it do? It injects inject, inject something to something? Uh, here it's to analyze the, the sugars. So you can, um, we have people who work on the polysaccharides, exopolysaccharides produced by the energy. So they take out some pump. Uh, what the, exactly is the, the main role of this device? This pump, you yeah. produce that. And then you can treat it to analyze the, the chemical structure of the polysaccharides. So it analyzes polysaccharides? Yes. Okay. This means uh, whether uh, their middle polysaccharide uh, may not be. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but, but the role is to only analyze poly polysaccharides, yeah? Uh, depends. Depends on the, well, in the lab, yes, but the equipment. Yeah. So, for photometer. Yeah. And, um, I won't go yeah. much into detail, and Jeremy will tell you a bit about it. It's to analyze um, the, the way light is um, absorbed yeah. and uh, emitted from the algae. And we use the data it gives to feed on the, the model for the productivity for the culture. Liquid. So not coupled to a mass spectrometry, mm -hmm. and also to analyze uh, compounds. Compounds. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. This is the sample? Uh, it doesn't produce anything, it just analyzes. Analyzes. We have some uh, work much in the zoosphere, but um, it's yeah. for people studying more uh, membranes. So we have um, different, uh, different setup like this. So this is a hollow fiber membrane for separation. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, different type of uh, really membrane. Um, you have uh, they are stored in uh, those kind of uh, box, more or less big. Um, and I think you will have to wait for the people specialized in those one. This is more for the downstream part of um, of the reading. This is um, tendential filtration. Uh, yeah. So I think I will perhaps make you a more specific visit on this. And I have to leave you because I have to leave at uh, yeah. half past four. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I think I will let you here. So